For 200 years, Huntsville Fire and Rescue has put out flames and responded to emergencies, and now work is underway to add a new fire station within city limits and Limestone County. Kenesha Dees caught up with the fire chief on why this new station is needed to keep up with the city's growth and development. Huntsville Fire and Rescue it's established in 1822 and been providing the best service we can since then. And Chief Mac McFarland wants to keep it that way. The city has grown, as, as everyone knows, tremendously. We've got a lot of growth and we've got to be able to cover that growth. It's why local funds for a new fire station were approved and included in Huntsville City Council's capital plan last September. The chief explains why they need this new station near Burgreen Road. There's lots of things to look at. Our main thing we look at is response time. We look at response time, which is super important on saving property and saving lives in time of emergencies. Another is for insurance services off or ISO ratings. This classifies several industries, including fire departments. One is the best, 10 is the worst. The lower the class, the lower homeowners insurance rates. ISO Huntsville is ISO class one. It's very hard to maintain. To put that, I guess, perspective, uh, the insurance services office, they actually rate over 50,000 fire departments in the United States and only three in a thousand, not three in a hundred are able to achieve ISO class one rating. A design isn't cemented just yet, however. We have just about got our design down to where it's form follows function. It really, we've, we've got a station design that functions really well, it's efficient, it's effective. Uh, our personnel like the design of it, so we'll take one of our existing stations that we really like and we'll start from there with a few twer tweaks and stuff to make sure that we get everything in place to make them better. And Chief Max says right now they are in the architectural phase for the new fire station in Huntsville, Kenesha Dees, Fox 54 News.